Before we get into today's video, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there's a very large portion of you guys unsubscribed. So if you want to stay tuned, subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the video. Today we're doing something I have never done or seen in Clash Royale. We're going to be not only watching battles from other players, but we're going to be guessing exactly what their trophy range is based on just their gameplay and the deck that they're using. We're going to do this by watching tournaments and not TV Royale because if you watch TV Royale, you can directly see the arena that they're playing in. By watching these guys, we're going to hopefully be able to guess the correct amount of trophies they they have and if we get within 300 trophies of the actual amount that they have then that will be a success and we're gonna be watching three or four battles today and seeing can we get more than two correct if you guys want to see another video like this in the future stay tuned leave a like on the video and if this video gets over a thousand likes we will definitely make a part two to this we're watching t-butt here and we are going to see exactly what arena or trophy range we think this guy's at so he's going world giant first play pretty aggressive here and he's going against hog 2.6 how will he be able to break through and potentially win this game with royal giant against hog 2.6 now we gotta find out his deck we gotta see if he's got legendary cards we gotta see what he's got because if he doesn't have any legendary cards that might be a good indicator here he's not super high in trophies obviously it's not guaranteed but we'll have to see what we can do he goes with the royal giant mega minion and barbarians now something to look at here is the mega minion does have that golden outline meaning he's definitely used this card quite a bit the hog 2.6 player he's going against looks to be sweaty as well he's got a bunch of star points or star leveled cards but let's see rg players now in the lead uh, uh, behind a little bit here uh, hog 2.6 player getting a early lead here not too much damage but we see a minion horde in the middle of nowhere what is going on with this oh my goodness we see a royal giant minion horde bomber the minion horde is not a card you generally see here but it's kind of working right now how is this working the minions are on the tower the royal giant shredding and that is so much damage i have to say i cannot picture t-bot here being that high on ladder with barbarians with minion horde with a snowball in a royal giant deck what are we watching what are we watching right now dude how did the hog 2.6 player let that minion horde get that much value he's got an ice spear an ice golem and we see a royal giant sparky deck the first legendary from t-bot coming out right now he's got six elixir he's gonna barbarians the hog most likely and yes he does so he's got a decent cycle here now the thing to consider is i mean hey t but he's got a colored name which is interesting he's also got quite a few cards with the star points on them including the bomber the sparky the mega minion and the opponent has straight up given up what now i do have to say t but even though having he a weird deck he's spending elixir in a weirdly like effective uh, effective way here so i can't say he's below 4,000 trophies i think t but is at 5,000 i mean after seeing that i think he's gonna be at 5,800 trophies that is my guess let's go ahead and see what he's at here um let's go all right what you at t but what you at bro we have found him here in the ultimate reveal 6,300 did you get this right comment down below if you did that's higher than i thought for sure dude his highest trophies is about the same as mine that's crazy congrats to him let's find our next match all right we're pretty early in this match here and we're watching diang hello i i have no idea how to say this guy's name but he's got a minor bomb tower i just go on deck no legendaries besides the minor so far the opponent's got hog rider and potentially hog quake and i'm guessing that this guy on the bottom either has minor wall breakers or balloon cycle with the minor in here so let's see who's going to be able to win this musketeer in the back definitely looking like balloon cycle with the musketeer especially but the opponent's gonna have a big hog push coming up right now the minor comes down which is interesting i actually do think that was a pretty good minor play and based off of his cycle based off of playing well right now defensively speaking the bottom guy we're just gonna call him di di he's doing well the musketeer moves up the snowball he tried to predict the skeletons which honestly i think a good player would do that is very well played the uh big push is going to come in here left side though and the opponent most likely has earthquake if the uh, if the opponent has earthquake i'll be very surprised if di can come out with a win here guys because i mean look at that hog rider it's gonna get on the tower it's gonna get two hits and i don't know how he could have stopped that to be honest with you maybe be a little more patient with the bomb tower try and fake out the earthquake that would be my only only suggestion right now but the mine is gonna go in here the musketeer as well he's gonna prediction snowball nope the bar barrel is going to come down and actually tank for the musketeer beautifully there so the musketeer nearly full health just gets logged back but overall gonna get a nice shot there can this be a high level gameplay i mean i think maybe i think this guy 
might be around where the last one was, around 6,300 trophies. He's good. He's applying the pressure. He knows that the Hidden Tesla is now out of cycle. Will the opponent be able to get a Hidden Tesla down? Probably, right? No. The Hidden Tesla does not get down, and the Balloon will legitimately take that whole tower down. Incredible play. Knowing the opponent's cycle there, that has got to be a decent high-level player. And the Bomb Tower comes out in a great spot because the Hog Rider does obviously get to kill it because of the Earthquake, but the Earthquake doesn't damage his tower. Very good placement there. DI, looking to be a pretty promising foe here. I mean, look at this gameplay, guys. The Miner's coming in right on that Firecracker. Not to mention the tower is low enough to where a couple miners, a couple snowballs, that thing is going down. The opponent is just trying to break through here, but it's just not going to happen. And to be honest with you, I figured the opponent here would actually have somewhat of a matchup, but it does not appear like Ronnie on the top is going to be able to get this done, man. That is awesome to see DI coming out on top in a pretty high skill match, I would say. I mean, the balloon, it is what it is. It's not the highest skill cards, but wow, congratulations. Both people we've watched so far have gotten the wins. Is it, uh, am I lucky? I think so. I think so. Let's take a guess. I am going to guess that this man is at, we're going to go 6,000. We're going to go 6,000 because I don't, I can't picture him at, at like being too high up. He doesn't have a lot of star levels, but I can see a solid 6,000 and it's 5,000. 30 we are getting this one correct because we're within the 300 range and we get our first one out of the four matches we watched guys we got a point here we're one for two not too bad ggs to this guy keep on crushing man let's get into our next match all right guys we have pigsy here this guy's actually at the very bottom of the tournament i was looking for a while there and we got this man's he's got prince he's got minor what type of deck is he running here the Prince gonna take that Ice Golem out and the Miner's chipping away. That's some good chip damage there, to be honest with you. He's going against David. Let's see what's going on. So another Holly 2.6 player in Electro Wizard comes down. It's looking like potentially a Giant Prince deck, which I definitely respect. Now that Electro Wizard placement does confuse me, right? Maybe he didn't want it to get hit, but at the same time, look at what it cost him there, guys. Pigsy taking a ton of damage. The opponent missing that Fireball. Honestly, going to be a pretty bad play there. And overall, Pigsy has actually done almost, I would say, more damage or about the same damage as David. Because even though David did a little more damage on one tower, Pigsy's got that split up pressure. So we'll see what he's going with here. In terms of Elixir management, he's leaking right now. And he's deciding to go with the Giant in the back, even though he knows the opponent's got that hog rider coming in hot. Now, the Prince in front of the Giant's really interesting, guys. The Giant's going to continue to walk. The Prince is going to remain in um, in the lead here, in front of that Giant. We see a cannon. We're going to see some sort of skeletons, I'm, ass I'm assuming. Nope, Ice Golem comes down. That's going to be a decent answer here. And the Giant with Dark Prince coming in hot. Now, we see he's got enough for a Fireball. The skeletons do go down that he placed. The Mine is going to go right on top of that musketeer a really good placement there and the dark prince does get logged back unfortunately guys that was a pretty clean defense on the 2.6 players part he does get uh, suffer a little bit of damage there but i'm surprised that pigsy is lower on elixir now even after doing all of that work it is really not looking good for Pigsy here, guys. The Electro as it comes down, he's going against Hog 2.6, which unfortunately I think does have matchup here um, because you can just spam cards down as the 2.6 player unless Pigsy makes a big play. I don't see him winning this one here. The Electro as it gets a stab there, not too bad. Let's see if he goes with another Giant. He's doing it, dude. He is doing it. Now, how is he going to break through, right? Because that last push, he did go with the Prince in front of the Giant. That's not something you want to do. Could it have been he just really wanted to defend the Hog Rider? Maybe, but was it even worth it? I don't think so he lost the tower anyways you know what i mean guys so very interesting just decision here right here he's actually deciding to split up his pressure it's definitely an interesting play the giants coming in the minor and fireball combo does kill that musketeer instantly and the prince is almost full hp moving up here the dark prince is also almost full hp and it gets on the tower the prince kills the musketeer the dark prince and minor are taking that whole tower down and as you see there he makes a big push and play and i really do actually like that split lane pressure that was a good move there from Pigsy, the Mega Minion, the Prince, the Zap Spell. He does decide to use on that little play there. And instead of going with the Miner and Fireball, once again, he goes with the Dark Prince. He's got the Double Prince, Giant Push with the Mega Minion. And now he's got the Miner. He's got those Skeletons. The Dark Prince is Splash, the Fireball, the Miner tanking for it all. And Pigsy is coming back strong. He's got a lot of things on this tower. And the Prince gets a final Joust, getting him to lead here. This is an incredible match, man. To a 1900 HP left on Pigsy's tower. How is he going to? defend this i mean with no buildings this is this has been a crazy good defense and no no pigsy are you there man he like he what the pigsy bro hello both players have just stopped playing dude what 
Pigsy's back! He's back! Oh my gosh, we all thought it was over, but no, Pigsy was just faking us out. The princes, the Mega Minion, they're gonna need to kill that Hog Runner, and he gets the kill! He's gonna need a giant the pocket, but Pigsy does not have as much elixir. Will he be able to bring this back even though he left the game for like 15 seconds? I don't know, dude. He's down bad right now. He is down bad. The Electrozer does connect. It's another hit. But that Hog Runner is going to be so difficult to stop, dude. I don't know if he'll be able to get it done here, guys. The Prince comes down. The Electrozer is going to need to follow. And no, it's a Dark Prince. The Fireball lands. It's just going to take a log. And that is a really good match. Even though Pigsy loses, if he had continued to play, I really think he might have had that. Unfortunate, Pigsy might have lagged or something. Good game there. Let's go ahead and see where Pigsy is in terms of trophy. Here he is guys. I'm gonna guess with a giant double prince. I mean, it's a pretty good deck I would say with the way he was split lane pressuring that we're gonna go 6,400 trophies. I'm I have big big hopes for pigsy here I think that split lane pressure was really smart. Let's see 5,100 oh, we are really off with that. We are really off with that Oh my goodness. Okay, we are now one for three. We're going to need to make this one count. Honestly, we might do two more because this is so much fun. We got our next match here, and it's Moon 3 Var. No idea if I said that right. I definitely didn't, actually. But we're going against Ironside here. Now, we got to decide what, how many trophies does this guy have, right? He's going against a pretty difficult matchup. Um, from what I can tell, especially with that Arch Queen Earthquake, right? I mean, he's playing Mortar. This is going to be a rough one, guys. Will he be able to get it done? We will have to find out. Um, but he's going with it pretty much a log bait mortar deck really interesting really cool Let's see if he can get it done. This is gonna be a rough one though I'm wondering what that last card is in his deck. Is it rocket? It might be um, Because if mortars is only a way of stopping that hog rider that is gonna be rough Especially since the opponent's got quake. He's got NATO. He's got log Yikes, that's all I got to say. I'm a log bait player and I am not sure How our mortar player down here at three var? is going to be able to succeed he's going with a giant skeleton interesting right giant skeleton not something you see too often we're seeing a mortar defensive mortar here he's setting up pretty well he's spending elixir pretty well i think overall it's just gonna be a really rough matchup we'll see if he can get it done though three var now seeing the hog Rider coming in i mean this is going to be a hundred oh i'd have to say hog Rider gets defended with the rocket it is the rocket the arch queen's distracted and he's doing a fantastic job here on defense, guys. He's doing pretty good for what he can. And he actually has the lead, guys. Which is hard to believe, honestly. That Hog Rider, though, if he needs to rocket the Hog Rider every single time, there's zero chance he's going to have in order to beat this guy. Because 6 Elixir on a 4 Elixir card is just not doable. Not only does the opponent have NATO, the opponent also has that log in there. So they're both choosing to leak. The Goblin Barrel's coming out, and it's not going to be a tricky barrel. Why is the opponent not playing cards, guys? This could be bad. Did the opponent leave match? No way. All we have to base this off of is the opponent leaving match, basically. He played it pretty well. The mortar on top of the bridge is really questionable. The way he's stacking up cards is interesting. Um, I mean, the rocket on the hog rider was a decent play. I don't think this guy is super high on trophies, though. I have to have a hard time believing it. What do you guys think right now? I am leaning more towards the 4,000 range, and I'm being completely honest when I say that. I think this guy's lower in trophies. I think this guy might be the lowest we've seen, in fact. I just based off of the cycles, based off of the play style, I cannot picture this man's being too much higher than 4,000. Let's go ahead and find him, and then we will see what his trophy count is. Okay, he's number 8. Shoot, he's 9 and 3. Not too bad. I would have to go 4,000, 4,900 trophies. 4,900 trophies, the lowest we've seen today. What you got for us? Yes! Dude, that was a pretty good guess right there, guys. That was a pretty good guess. 5,091. We are now two for four. Can we get a final one in here? I think so. We've been recording for quite some time, but this is so much fun. We're doing one more, and if we get it right, we win. If we get it wrong, we lose. Let's go ahead and do this. We got Sans here, the final one of the day. Can we guess his trophy count? We will find out. He's going against, once again, it looks like a bait pot. He's going against the guy we just saw. That's so cool. Okay. Very interesting here. Sans, what you got for us? A good bar barrel there. Very good to take note of placements, right? Placements do tell a lot about the trophy range they may be playing at. And he's playing Graveyard, Splash Yard, in fact, with the Ice Wizard and Valkyrie. Okay, pretty high skill deck. Eh, kinda, kinda. Um, so he's going against a log bait deck, meaning he does have the severe matchup here. We'll see if 3 Var can get it done. 
Um, three Var we do know is playing the mortar. He's playing the bait. The um, Sans probably does think it is just log bait. He's not going to expect the mortar. I can tell you that. Um, so the tombstone is going to be really tough. I mean, the graveyard and bog barrel are going to absolutely kill three Var here. And we see the mortar. Is Sans ready for it? The tombstone comes down, the knight is down to tank for the mortar, and Sans is going to need to get something done here. I mean, the goblin barrel also coming out. He has enough elixir for bar barrel, but he's not able to get down before the goblins get a stab. Good little interaction there from 3 Var. Can we see a potential win against a really bad matchup, potentially, guys? Although, I think 3 Var is doing a good job of keeping Sans on his toes. Sans doesn't have a whole lot of elixir. We lagged for a second there, but we're back, and he's going into the goblin barrel. Does he do three var needed to really start tricky barreling there? I he's not gonna get this done if he doesn't start making big moves and getting big damage. The uh, graveyard and poison will overall end up chipping him down, even though three var has the rocket. It probably will not be enough because he's not gonna be able to flawlessly defend these graveyards. Is this a tricky barrel coming in? It's not, it's not quite. Um, in the graveyard, once again, getting shots off with the poison. It is straight up looking really rough here. Now, it is definitely Sans matchup, and for it being Sans 100-0 matchup, I don't think he's playing it very well. I'm gonna say it right now. I think he should've won this game by now. He should've had to tower up. He's got direct answers to pretty much everything 3VAR can play, and yet, 3VAR is still holding on, and we do gotta remember, for reference, 3VAR is not the highest trophy player in the world, right? He's only at 4,900, uh, 5,000. So, this is interesting. We see the poison. We see the defensive goblin barrel. Sans is happy with himself. But I gotta say, I'm not sure that Sans is as high trophies as um, 3 Var. We really gotta think about this here. Sans did have a nice win there, but he also had the guaranteed matchup. Is that gonna mean too much? I don't know. This is for a lot of marbles. Sans could be 7k, Sans could also be 3k, right? Now he is playing Ice Wizard, he's playing Graveyard. Two legendary cards, so he's got to be a decent trophy range here. I would have to say somewhere's in the 5,000 trophy range, I gotta say. I, I'd have a hard time believing Sans is over 6,000 trophies, guys. I think he would have dismantled 3VAR if he was over 6,000 trophies. I'm really thinking about this here, I'm gonna go 5,000. I want to say 400, but I think it's 5,000, 5,800 trophies. That is my guess. This is risky. Yes, man. Yes, dude. We get it. Sans, 5,967 trophies. That is a really good day. That is a really good amount of guesses we had. And Sans coming out on top. Um, congratulations. What? What? How does Sans have 10 grand challenging win and a ton of tournament finishes and the 20 wins multiple times? Something doesn't add up here. Am I, am I wrong? What is going on? What? Anyways, congratulations to him. He is doing good, but we were able to guess three out of five. So that means we took the W here. Let me know your guys' guesses at home. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like I said, if you want to see more, get us this video to a thousand likes. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Master Diddy-san, out.